you might often have heard statements like this. I think every group, every society has the right to preserve itself, and preservation is both a biological and a cultural preservation. Biblically, does every ethnic group, or nation, have a right to preserve its culture? No they do not. I define culture as beliefs, traditions, and general behaviors, a people shows. First, every people, does have a right, to continue to exist as distinct people, with a distinct name. But not every people has a right to preserve its culture. This is because their culture might be wicked, and ungodly. Or at least contain wicked aspects, which some might not want to let go of. You see, many teach that culture, is inherent in a people, or biological. So, many think that all culture is intrinsic to peoplehood, and should therefore be respected and preserved. I think it is entirely fair to conclude that culture is very much tied to race. It's impossible to sever the two. If all of culture, is inherent in a people, even the good behavior, which comes from the spirit, not the flesh, then it would have been a mute point for God, to command all people to conform to their Bible, by denying the flesh and following the spirit. Acts 17 verse 30 says, And the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. God does not give all nations, the right to preserve whatever culture. Psalm 37, verse 28 says, For the Lord loveth judgment, and forsaketh not his saints, they are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. Isaiah 60, verse 12 says, for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish, yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. God even threatened his chosen people to cut them off, because they were wicked, and start over making a new nation from Moses. See Exodus 32, verse 10. Try saying that an ethnic group, which worships devils, and sacrifices babies, has a right to preserve themselves and their culture. They don't. Their culture, is not intrinsic to their peoplehood, even if they claim it is, because they can still repent from it and follow a biblical culture. The danger in teaching, that all culture is simply inherent in peoplehood, is that those who want to preserve it, might want to use political force, to preserve their wicked culture. If you then preach against it, you might be seen as an, quote, enemy of the people, unquote. And they might want to write their wicked culture into law thereby freezing it forever, as a part of your people by force. They are commanded by God to repent, otherwise their seed could be cut off, and they would cease as a nation. A wicked culture does not have a right to be preserved. Wicked cultures are not beautiful, and the people who follow such a culture, should repent, before they get destroyed.